Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we just finished binder number 10 here on Sunday, August 28th. We're now starting binder number 11. We left off with the legendary The Rock. So can't get much better than that. And we open up here with a really good one, too, in The Rockers. Okay, so we have Marty Jannetty and the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, HBK. So there they are, Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty, The Rockers. Excellent combo piece. Um of these two legends and great to have this tag team here together in a piece here. This is not WWF. This looks like it's probably it's AWA, but who cares though? A nice combo of the rockers. All right. Next one is rockin' Robin signed up here. She was the sister of Jake, the snake Roberts and Sam Houston. There she is with the ladies title. So we have a nice one there of rockin' Robin. Next, we have the Rock and Roll Express. So we have Robert Gibson here, Ricky Morton over there. So we have the Rock and Roll Express. There it is, nice double dual sign picture of the Rock and Roll Express. All right, this one is also, um, this one's triple sign here. It's the Rock and Roll Express. So again, Robert Gibson and Ricky Morton, but Billy Jack Haynes is in the picture with them. I don't know if this is for some indie federation or if this is uh, some old school pick. But it's got the Rock and Roll Express and Billy Jack Haynes all together, triple sign. So, again, uh, Gibson here, Morton there, and Billy Jack up there. Very cool piece there, triple sign. All right, next one it came from Scott Ferenzi. It's Rocky Johnson. So, there it says Rocky Johnson. There he is with the title belt. Uh, since he's passed away, his value's gone up a lot, too. This is the Rock, this is the, the father of the Rock, Rocky Johnson. So, nice one there of him. Next one is Rowdy Roddy Piper on a WWE photo file from 2006. So he wrote Rowdy Roddy Piper. Um, very cool piece there of Piper. And there's Bob Piveroff meeting Piper. So he wrote Rowdy Roddy Piper, 97. So he might have been 1997. There's Piper with Bob. Next up's another Roddy Piper one. This one he just wrote Roddy Piper, though he didn't write Rowdy, but... Another interesting piece, though, of the Hot Rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper. So we saw a couple of him now. Rob Feinstein's favorite. All right, next up is Rodney Mack and his manager, Teddy Long, a double signature. This came from James Fabiano. So he wrote Rodney Mack over there. And then Teddy Long, holla, declare. So Rodney Mack along with Teddy Long. There they are together. This one's PSA certified. It's Roman Reigns, and you can see he's right the junkie double R, but pretty cool on top. He wrote uh, WWE champ. So Roman Reigns on a WWE photo file from 2014. Roman Reigns, the WWE champion. Pretty cool there. All right, and in the back, there's the PSA cert. Next up, we saw him earlier uh, with James J. This is a solo one, though, of the outlaw Ron Bass. He wrote Ron Bass over there. Pretty cool pose there of Outlaw Ron Bass. All right, next one is Ron Simmons. So he wrote Ron Simmons, WCW champ, 1992. So that's after he beat Vader, and he's the world champion. So nice inscription there from Ron Simmons. This one's signed by Ronda Rousey. There she signed it down there. She just wrote Rousey, but that's Ronda Rousey in her Piper outfit and everything. Next up is Rugged Ronnie Garvin. He signed it right here. It says NWA champion, Ronnie Garvin. And there he is with the belt, the big gold belt that Flair had all those years. Rugged Ronnie Garvin. Here's another one of Ronnie Garvin signed right here in red. And he's got the towel draped over him. So cool um, picture there of Ronnie Garvin. Next up is Rosa Mendez on a WWE photo file from 2014. So there's Rosa, and she signed it down over here. So cool one there of Rosa Mendez. And here's another one of Rosa. She wrote Love Rosa. Rosa Mendez. Pretty cool outfit there. All right, next one is a combo. It's Rosemary. And Taya Valkyrie, who's the, um, I don't know if she's the girlfriend or the wife now of, was it Johnny Nitro or something? So 
Let's tie a Valkyrie with Rosemary. There they are together. Not familiar with those people too well because I don't follow the current product. This is Rosie, who's passed away. He was one of the members of Three Minute Warning. This is the days when he was a superhero in training and he teamed up with Hurricane Helms. So that's Rosie. Okay, moving along. We have the Rougeau brothers, the fabulous Rougeau brothers. We have Ray Rougeau on top. Jacques Rougeau there um, by his jacket. So combination there of the Rougeau brothers, uh, Jacques and Raymond. Here's a second Rougeau one we got recently. This is from the Wrestling Universe. This was the night in August of 87 when Montreal where they won the tag titles from the Hart Foundation and they later had to relinquish them. So that's signed by Jacques Rougeau and that's signed by Raymond Rougeau. And there they are with the tag team belt. So a nice, cool, rare photo of the Rougeau brothers with the WWF tag team titles. And there's the shirt from Wrestling Universe. Next up, we have R-Truth, who's also K-Quick. So it's R-Truth on a WWE photo file from 2012, R-Truth. And there's the shirt from TNT Authentics. Next, we have a, a photo file, a combo from 2014 of Rusev and Lana. So we have Rusev and Lana together. Pretty cool picture there on the photo file from 2014. Next, we have Ryan Shamrock signed right over here. So love Ryan Shamrock. That was Ken Shamrock's sister for at least storyline purposes. Uh, got some big tits and uh, interesting outfit she's wearing there. Ryan Shamrock. That came from Wrestling Universe, by the way. Next one is Ride Back. And he actually writes, Feed Me More. And then he wrote, Ride Back, WWE Intercontinental Champion. So a nice blue paint pen there. Stands out really well. Nice one there of Ride Back. Next up, we have Tony Atlas as Saba Simba. I signed it down here. This came from Bud Carson. Saba Simba. Excellent piece. And here we have a second one of Saba Simba signed over here. So that's Tony Atlas as Saba Simba. Next, we have Sable. So there she is standing and posing. Sable, who was, you see, married to Mark Merrow and later Brock Lesnar. Sable. And here's a second one of Sable. So I got this from a guy who does signings in New Jersey. That's Sable. Next up, we have a combo. It's Sabu. This is Sabu ECW and Bill Alfonso, his manager. So there's Sabu with Bill Alfonso together. And here's another combination one. We have Sabu over here and Tommy Dreamer over there. So it's plugging some extreme match we're going to have in ECW. Again, signed by both Sabu and Tommy Dreamer. All right. This is Salvatore Belomo. We signed it way down here. And again, black, not the best thing. I got this one from High Spots. It was pretty cheap, though, like maybe like seven bucks or six bucks. So we have Salvatore Belomo. And there's the High Spots cert. All right. Speaking of Salvatores, we have Salvatore Sincere, which was Tom Brandy. So he wrote Sal Sincere. He likes to be Mr. Italy, Salvatore Sincere in the WWF back in 96 and 97. That one came from um, Bud Carson, by the way. Next up, I got directly from Sam Houston. So he wrote, to Todd, best of luck, Sam Houston. I bought this directly from him and he mailed it to me. So pretty cool one from Sam Houston. And here's a second one of Sam Houston that came from Bill Paley. Sign right there, Sam Houston. And there's Bill Cert. Next one, this one came from Scott Ferenzi. It's an amazing piece signed by the Samoan SWAT team, which was both Samu, Fatu, and Paulie Dangerously. So up here it says SST for Samoan SWAT team. There's Fatu's signature. Samu down over here by this shade, see like in this gold color. And then there's Paul E. Dangerously over there. So triple signed by the Samoan SWAT team and Paul E. Dangerously. All right, next up, we have Head Shrinker Samu. I got this directly from him. He wrote, 
Thank you for everything, Todd. Stay safe. Samu 2011. So I gave him like footage of his matches and things like that. He gave me some cool memorabilia in place. And including this nice 8x10 here signed by Head Shrinker Samu. That's on a WWF promo picture from 94, by the way. All right, next one is the Sandman. There he is signed right here, Sandman. This is from his ECW days. We used to have a different one, but I replaced it. I kept this cool one here uh, from ECW of the Sandman with the title. All right, here's a combo one. It's Sandman and Missy Hyatt. So Sandman signed it over here. Missy Hyatt signed it down there by her legs. So a cool combo picture there of the Sandman and Missy Hyatt. Looks like they're going to kiss or blow smoke or do something. She's carrying the Singapore cane that woman used to carry for him. This is probably from like 96 or so. Next we have Sandy Beach, also known as, as known as Sunny Beach. He was also in that indie show into November we were talking about earlier with Ray Odyssey. He wrestled in the WWF briefly in like 88 and 89. So he wrote Sandy Beach, WWF. He's getting introduced in the ring. Next, we have Santino Morella with the Cobra. He's holding the Cobra and signed by Santino. So nice one there of Santino Morella. And here's... Um, looks like this is double signed by Mickey James and Santino. So it says right here, there's Mickey James and Santino. Santino on the apron, Mickey wrestling the ring, double signed by the two of them. All right, our next one here is signed by Sarah Logan. She was one of the members of the Riot Squad, Sarah Logan. All right, here's one of everyone's favorites, the boss, Sasha Banks. It's on a photo five from 2015. It came from Bill Paley, Sasha Banks. She writes S dollar sign B, Sasha Banks. Cool one there. And there's Bill Paley, sir. Here's the next one. I got a second one of Sasha Banks. This is the boss. I got this one, I believe, from Steve Hurt. Sasha Banks. Pretty cool. All right. Next, we have Savio Vega. So he wrote Savio Vega, PR. So I guess that means Puerto Rico, where he came from. Savio Vega. And here's a nice one of all three gimmicks he had. So it's Savio Vega and Quang. He had those two in WWF. He's also known in another organization in Puerto Rico as TNT. So he signs all three gimmicks again, Savio Vega, Quang, and TNT. Next up here, we have a, the diva everyone loves. She's a current product one, manages um, Cross, Killer Cross. Her name is Scarlett Bourdreau or Bourdreau. I don't know how to say it, but Scarlett Love right there. Scarlet Bordeaux. Bordeaux. I don't, know, I don't know how you say it. I don't watch. And there's the cert for that one. Here's another one of Scarlet. It says Scarlet Love. I know she's got tattoos down there. It's interesting. I don't know what that is a tattoo of. There's Scarlet. And that one came from Wrestling Universe. And here's a third one of Scarlet uh, wearing some nylons and trying to look sexy for her men, I guess. So there's Scarlet. Scarlet Love. All right, next one is Scott Casey. He was a low-card guy in the WWF. I think he also wrestled in World Class or some other federations. So he wrote Cowboy Scott Casey. And that came from Wrestling Universe. Next one is Scott Hall. It's JSA certified, as you see right here. He wrote Scott Hall for Life. And a very cool one there of Scott Hall. And on the back, you see the cert from that. And we also have a picture here of Scott Hall, signed by him as Scott Hall. Where is it, Ramon? Here's a, a rare low card guy. His name is Scott McGee. Um, he came from another country. I forget which one, though. It says, Best wishes, Scotty McGee. And there he's in the ring, uh, getting ready for action, Scott McGee. And that came from TNT Authentics. Next one is Scott Ash Norton. So he wrote Scott Norton, NWO for life. So there's Scott Norton here. Originally teamed up with Ice Train and then later on joined the NWO. So we have Scott Norton, big strong man. 
Here's another one, Scott. That's a rare one. It's a son of Ivan Putsky. This was Scott Putsky. You saw Ivan earlier. There's Scott Putsky. And that came from TNT Authentics. This is Scott Steiner, Big Papa Pump. So he was signed there as Scott Steiner. That's when he was like the heel, the big muscle guy. So that's later in the career, Scott Steiner. Next one is um, Scotty Flamingo. I, got, I remember I was looking for one of him. It's, there's been more of him out there lately. When I was looking for the time, it's very tough to get. Scott Frenzy helped get me him, though. And there he is, Scotty Flamingo. This is the guy who also played Raven and Johnny Polo. This was his WCW gimmick in like 92, 93. Scotty Flamingo. All right. Next up is Scotty Riggs. Signed up here, Scotty Riggs. That's a pretty cool one of him, Scotty Riggs. This is when he was in the flock. I know he originally was in the American Males with Marcus Bagwell. Next up is Scotty Too Hotty from Too Cool. So he wrote Scotty Too Hotty. There he is, like dancing in the ring and everything like that. So a nice one there of Scotty, Scott Taylor. All right, that came from the Wrestling Universe. Another one's that uh, I remember Eric's was just trying to sell him for a long time. I actually got him pretty cheap for like 25 bucks. I originally had a black and white one, bought for the same price and sold it. Sims wanted like 100, 200 bucks. I uh, got this one for 20 or 25, though. This is SD Jones right up here. Not many graphs of him out there, though, so like sure this value has increased a ton since I bought it. Of SD Jones, I got this from one of the uh, the Gore brothers. I think it was Ray or Dan Gore, probably Dan. Special Delivery Jones. Looks like from an indie show. All right, next up is uh, legendary Sean Mooney. Remember Sean Mooney in the event center and Coliseum video and doing commentary, Laura for Hayes, a big interviewer backstage. A WWF photo file from 1988, the year he debuted, Sean Mooney. He still does uh, work on the evening news, I heard, in Arizona. Uh, he did work in New Jersey by me years ago, too, like in the mid and late 90s. Sean Mooney. He's out in Tucson, Arizona. Right, here's a super rare one. I know people, when I bought this, I got this on um, during the beginning periods of COVID, like that summer of 2020. I paid about 80 bucks for him. I know he goes for like 200, 300 now. It's Sean O'Hare. On an original WCW promo picture, Sean O'Hare. And there he is on the WCW promo picture. Uh, this was from the year 2000. And you see on the back, there's the whole like letter of authenticity that WCW sends you from the WCW address. All right, next up is um, she was a member of um, CM Punk's Straight Edge Society. Her name was Serena Deeb. So there's Serena with a ladies title. I don't know what federation that is. Like the NWA, it says. So Serena. That came from Wrestling Universe. Next up is a nice one of Sergeant Slaughter. So pretty cool. He's sitting down and chilling. Sergeant Slaughter. Nice, nice clean signature there of Sergeant Slaughter. All right. Next, we have a combination one. This came from, I believe, the Wrestling Universe. Yep, it's a P106 uh, promo of Sergeant Slaughter and his manager, General Adnan. So Slaughter signed it over there, General Adnan there in smaller print, and there they are together, Sergeant Slaughter and General Adnan. Anyone watching the video, feel free to leave comments. I'll talk about it. Again, that came from Wrestling Universe. All right, this is the franchise Shane Douglas. He wrote Franchise Shane Douglas III, and that's like a young Douglas when he was a baby face, so either the Dynamic Dudes or early WWF days. The franchise Shane Douglas. Here's another one of Shane Douglas. And he's the ECW World Champion. So again, he signs it as Shane Douglas the uh, Third. It's got some kind of cert uh, on it. So Shane Douglas, the franchise. And there's a picture of us signing him of it. All right. Next up, we have Shane McMahon, and Shane McMahon just wrote Shane O'Mac. Cool picture of him with Stephanie. Only signed by Shane. Shane McMahon. They actually signed a card for me, too, in the mail for free, which is pretty cool. Shane McMahon. All right. Next one is Shannon Moore. So we sign right here, Shannon Moore. This is like six bucks on eBay, probably about two years ago. Shannon Moore. Next up uh, came from the Wrestling Universe. It's the daughter of um, Eddie Guerrero. Her name is Shaul. Shaul Guerrero. So she signed it as Shaul Guerrero. There she is, the daughter of Eddie and Vicky. And there's a Wrestling Universe cert. 
All right, next up is the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. So he wrote Shawn Michaels, HBK. There he's posing in the ring after his big WrestleMania 12 win over Bret Hart in the Iron Man match. So awesome shot there of Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. Here's another cool one of Shawn Michaels. This is a magazine page of himself with Sherry, only signed by Shawn, though. So he wrote Shawn Michaels, HB Kids. That's like an early signature of Michaels, like from 92, 93. So nice one there of Shawn Michaels along with Sherry, only signed by Shawn. All right, here's another one of Shawn Michaels on an 8x10. This is Shawn Michaels, HBK. There he's in the red. This is like, you know, when he came back in 02, 03, something like that. Cool picture there of Shawn Michaels. And speaking of Michaels here, we have um, on the back of that, this is when he was with the Rockers, I believe. Um, this is Bob Pivroff again meeting. This might have been from like Atlantic Sea, like WrestleMania 5 or something. So there's Bob with Shawn Michaels and it's signed by Michaels. So nice one there of Bob and Michaels together. And then this is another Shawn Michaels one. This is more of one of the modern ones signed in the ring there. Shawn Michaels, Heartbreak Kid. We have a bunch of Shawn Michaels ones as you see. So some with Hunter, some with Jannetty, some solo ones. So nice pair of Shawn Michaels. All right, next one is uh, Sean Stasiak. Uh, he wrote Blessings, Sean Stasiak. So nice one there of Sean Stasiak. I remember I wanted to get one from him directly. What he wanted to charge was ridiculous. Luckily, I just found one cheaper from you know, like an online vendor or something like that. Sean Stasiak. All right, next up, I got this one from Richie Sorrentino. This is Sheamus. This is after he won um, the world title. I'm guessing it's probably like a WrestleMania or something. Yeah, it looks like it's WrestleMania 28. From this background banner I see. So there's Sheamus in the ring with the world title belt from WrestleMania 28. Is that the show he beat Daniel Bryan in seconds? I'm not sure. All right, next one is Shelly Martinez. So she writes Shelly right there. Cool vampire gimmick. Uh, we saw her earlier with Kevin Thorne. There's Shelly. When she was Ariel. And that one's a Wrestling Universe cert. Here's another one. We got Shelton Benjamin signed right up here. There he is with the United States Championship, signed by Shelton Benjamin, as you see. Very nice one of Shelton. And that came from Wrestling Universe as well. Next one is Sensational Sherry, Sherry Martell. So there she is, Sensational Sherry. Nice black and white photo of her. And we got a few of Sherry. This is when Bob Pivroff met Sherry. So she wrote Sherry Martell up there. And there's Bob with Sensational Sherry. And that last one there, there's the cert for that last one here we had. All right, next one, we have Sensational Sherry with Ted DiBiase, only signed by Sherry, though. So she wrote Sherry Martell Money, and there's Sherry with DiBiase. Nice photo there. All right, and there's the cert for that one. Our next one, we have another Sensational Sherry, our third one. There she's like chewing gum or something like that. And it's signed Sensational Sherry. So nice cool background. There's a, there's a couple pictures of this Sherry. Like signing this one, I was told by Tom Hernandez. And then a unique one there of Sensational Sherry. And there's the cert from that one. It happened in Syracuse, New York signing. Okay. Next one is um, signed by Sato, who is Shinja. So it says Akio Sato Shinja. And there he is with Hakushi, only signed by Shinja. That came from High Spots. All right, next one is Shinsuke Nakamura. So he signed right over there. I don't really follow the current product much, so that's Shinsuke Nakamura when he was in NXT. Signed over here at the symbol, Shinsuke Nakamura. Next, we have the Shockmaster. So this was uh, Fred Ottman when he played the Shockmaster. Very funny gimmick with the helmet and all. The Shockmaster. Next is uh, Shotzi Blackheart's her last name, I believe. Yeah, Shotzi Blackheart. This is a JSA certed piece. Sign over here, Shotzi Blackheart with the tongue ring and the green hair. So she's a current product dealer. Her name is Shotzi Blackheart. And then on the back, you see the JSA cert. All right, here's a rare one. This is a guy's in Raven's Flock. His name was Sick Boy. So there's Sick Boy from Raven's Flock. 
moving on, I have a bunch of SIDs. We have all three like gimmicks to use as SIDs. So this is when he was SID Justice. Being a fraction in WWF ring in 92. SID Justice. There is a SID Vicious from WCW. SID Vicious. Coin the finger, really nice. Stands out. And we also have him here, Survivor Series 96, as Psycho Sid. So we have Sid Justice, Sid Vicious, and Psycho Sid. So nice ones of Sid. This is from Sign Guy Dudley. So there he is, Sign Guy Dudley ECW. This is Sign Guy Dudley right over here. And in the picture with him are Bubba Ray, Devon, Big Dick, Joe Gertner, but just signed there by Sign Guy Dudley. I bought this from him directly, and he shipped it to me. And he included some cool extra things. So there's another small picture there of Sign Guy Dudley. And he sent me an index card as well. It says, thank you so much. Stay extreme, Sign Guy Dudley. Just got this uh, this past July, so it's pretty recent. All right, here's our funny man, Simon Mean. Do you, do you, do you? Do, 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 do. You know, he played Supernova, so Simon D here in the Simon system coming down the aisle. This is a rare one, came from the TNT Authentics guys. This is C.V. Afi, so it says C.V. Afi, 1986. He teamed up with the Islanders a lot, even became the third Islander for like a match or two in 88. C.V. Afi. Little card guy that replaced Jimmy Snuka, basically. There's the cert. Not many C.V. Afis out there. All right, next up we have Skinner. So you wrote Skinner WWF 91. Nice one there of Skinner. And another Skinner here. So you wrote Skinner WWF in this one. So there's two cool pictures there of Skinner. That one came from Wrestling Universe. Next one, the Doctor of Style Slick. We saw him earlier here with uh, Roma and Martel. There's just a solo one of Slick, also with the gang and Akeem, so Slickster, solo one. All right, here's the cool one of the Smoking Guns on a WWF 1995 P276 promo picture. So we have Billy Gunn here, Bart Gunn there. Nice black and white photo there of the Smoking Guns, Billy and Bart. And we have a second one of the Smoking Guns, also from 95. There's a color photo, though. So Billy Gunn here, Bart Gunn there. There they are with the tag team titles. They were the tag team champions at this time, the Smoking Guns. And then the last one for this binder, we have a combination of Sonny Ono, nice legendary WCW manager. He invented the selfie, along with the Ultimo Dragon. So nice combo, again, Sonny Ono and the Ultimate Ultimo Dragon. This concludes binder number 11. I have... One more big one, three small ones. I think I'll do the one more big one in a few minutes just to get those out of the way. And we'll get the small ones done soon. So hope you enjoyed it. Here we are on the S's. We just finished Sunny Ono and the Ultimo Dragon. Have a good one, everybody.